So yeah, a little bit of an amusement park slide here. Whee! Good fun. Did you know that Cosmo, who produce these really cool flights, also produce some very cool darts? Now I've got a selection of the Discovery darts here and I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites. Pupo Teng Li. Look, if I got it wrong, ignore me and look at these darts. They're just a bit different, aren't they? Look, we've got this sort of hybrid feel to it. You've got this straight barrel. It almost seems a little bit most scallop because of the way that it tapers out, but I think it's straight. It goes into that tapered large section there, and it goes up to this thick bomb front with cuts that go, nah, I don't wanna go that way. I'm gonna go this way and then this way, but I really like it. So, I mean, personally, they're really nice to hold from the rear. That's probably the rear and, and in that middle section just behind that push point, they're probably best. And you can feel those milled cuts going down with a very, very small amount of sharp grip there just to give you hold there. So you can hold from the front as well if you like that more sort of thick bomb feel. What a great start. Noah Lynn Van Leeuwen. Now these darts feel very round in how they feel. It's the middle section that for me has the best grip. That's where you have most of the ring grip, but you'll see what I mean if you've tried them. The sort of front and middle, because they sort of bulb out a bit for almost like a dumbbell. It sort of hits the board with a thud, really nice and confident kind of feel. Yeah, a bit different. The rear section really doesn't have a lot of grip. You've got a few sort of milled long cuts that sort of teardrop out, but the front has some simple ring grip, so you can throw from there if you want. For me, it's all about the colors on these darts. You've got natural tungsten, and they've done a really good job on this rainbow effect of colors. Really does look a nice, pretty dart. On to David Fatham's darts now. These are super thin and long. You've got a lot of different cuts going along there. You've got grip at the rear, slightly sharper at the rear. Then you've got some ring cuts in the middle, more standard. And I think it's got the same sort of smaller version of that rear grip at the front here as well as it tapers down. Now if you like your darts getting closer together they really do feel nice and thin and with that taper you'll be able to get really close groupings. Now these next ones have to be the most unusual of the bunch. Ross Montgomery. Look at this front. It kind of looks like the Hulk's got his hands on these and just held from the front and just squished them. Hulk smash but they have this sort of sloped ring grip cut at the rear with this electric blue coming through. And then it sort of slides down almost like a slide. It sort of has its first slope with a little bit of ring cuts and then sort of comes up and levels out and then it comes down again. I just wonder how they throw. And to be honest, I was quite surprised. Holding from the rear, I found myself sort of resting my finger in that water slide first slope bit there, which was really, really comfortable. And the dart didn't sort of kick back as I expected. Even when I switched to holding at the front, the same thing happened. It's really cleverly balanced dart, the standout of the bunch really. Hayes Leung. Now I love the grip on these. You can feel these real jagged edges and you've got this sort of mini scalloped section at the rear that really fits nicely for your thumb and finger. In that middle section, it's more of a sort of standard ring cut with a few milled cuts out of it. And you've got this smooth band, really nice in the middle as well. But the sharpest grip is at the front here. You've got sharp grip with milled cuts, really aggressive, really nice to hold from there. The silver and blue colorway of the last few sets really pops beautifully, and this for me was one of my favorites to throw. Andrew Gilding, Goldfinger. Now this torpedo, almost sort of bomb style dart, has a really unique look to it, especially from the rest of the range, it's bright gold. Now you only really get the rear cuts of grip here, so unless you like a smooth barrel in the middle or the front, the rear section is really where this is designed to be thrown from. It's a short barrel, Quite easy to throw at the board. You can get a nice and direct feel. And all of these darts are finished off with the fit flight stems and flights, which you can rotate. The flights are also quite light and come in a range of shapes. So here are some of the fit flights. You've got number two shape, the number six shape. I personally like the number two. It gives a little bit more stability in flight, that maximum chance of that high tail entry with all the drag. Now we're running a promotion where if you buy any of the Discovery Range darts, you'll get two sets of Cosmo Fit Flights for free. So get them while stocks last. If that wasn't enough, I'm giving away the Noah, Fatum and Gilding darts in a subscriber exclusive competition. Copy the link in the description of this video into another tab and enter. Fill out the form and see how you can win. So that's the lot. Which did you like the most? Let me know in the comments below, click that subscribe button, share the video with a friend, and until next time, have a good one.